are nootropics side effects free or are there any exceptions? And what should you do if you experience side effects with nootropics? Let's find out. Hey, what's up, Greg here, the founder of Your Inception. Welcome to my channel where you can learn top secrets about nootropics. Subscribe below to start your journey. When I started researching nootropics, I immediately figured out they're the next big thing in the supplement industry. Why was I so convinced? Well, because by definition, nootropics are side effects free, so they shouldn't provide any side effects. Now the question is, why are we shooting this video then? Well, because, you know, theory is usually a bit different than, you know, what's happening in real life. And, you know, the same is true for nootropics. So in this video, we're gonna check out the main side effects you can expect from nootropics, how to avoid those side effects, and what should you do in case you really experience any side effects. By the way, guys, did you ever experience any side effects with nootropics? Do let me know in the comment section below. So, do nootropics have side effects? As I said, by definition, no, but in real life, what can happen or what usually happens is you can get a headache, you can get a stomach pain, you can have issues with uh, brain fog, with mood changes, or, you know, nootropics could even influence your sleep or cause insomnia. Now, I wouldn't talk about side effects if I, you know, didn't experience any, but I did in the past quite, quite many times. And, you know, I'll soon explain to you why this happened. But, you know, those are the usual side effects that you can expect from taking the wrong tropics, the wrong dosages and so on. Now, the main question is how you can avoid getting all those uh, side effects. Well, first of all, you have to follow the rules and, you know, we're gonna talk about the rules very soon. The second thing is you should mix nootropics together or if you do, you have to be careful about it. And you know, the third thing is you always have to buy high quality nootropics. Now, when I talk about following, you know, the rules, what I talk about is or what, what I have in my mind is that, you know, you always follow the daily recommended dosage, you know, whenever this is established for a particular nootropic. So if the daily recommended dosage of a particular nootropic is, is let's say 200 milligrams, that's what you take. You don't overdose. The second important thing is, if you buy, you know, nootropics in bulk or in powder or whatever, you know, uh, and you have to store them at home, obviously, you always check out the rules, where those nootropics should be stored, how they should be stored, and so on. So basically, you always read the recommendations before, um, you check what, what has to be done, you don't overdose, you listen to the experts, and you know, you do everything you can in order to, avoid doing any kind of mistakes and that's you know that's one of the most important rules here and that's how you can definitely make a big step towards you know avoiding any kind of side effects the second thing is you shouldn't mix nootropics together now i know you might be confused now because i'm such a big fan of nootropic stacks which means a bunch of nootropics mixed together now i'm not saying you shouldn't do it i just i just said like if you want to avoid any kind of side effects you know the risk with um, nootropic stacks is usually much higher, especially if you make those nootropic stacks at home. If you buy a pre-made nootropic stack that was tested before uh, in laboratory, you know, that you know, thousands or hundreds of users used it before, then, you know, you're on a, you know, it's much safer for you then, um, you know, and it's a very small chance that you will actually still experience any kind of side effects. But if you buy nootropics in bulk, you weigh them, you put them together, you mix them somehow, and you make your own nootropic stack, then the risk is bigger, and that's usually the case when side effects come. I'm not saying you shouldn't do this at home, I'm just saying be careful about it. And the third thing, a very important one, always buy high quality nootropics. Now, when I experienced issues with nootropics in the past, usually they were pretty low quality. Um, so, um, and that's why, you know, the stomach pain came, the bloating and, uh, you know, uh, other issues related to that. Um, so always go for high quality nootropics on my blog, Your Inception, you can find tons of great resources where you can find, you know, the best stores where to buy nootropics, where you can find the best nootropics stacks and so on. So that's very, very important. Besides all that, listen to the experts. I mean, if experts tell you, you know, this is a high quality provider, you know, it's a safe provider or they're having, developing very high quality in the tropics, then, you know, go for it. I mean, you're gonna be on the safe side by doing that. The second thing is, when you're buying nootropic stacks, for example, always check the quality of the ingredients. Now, how you can do that, 
uh, go on the label, check what's in, go on the homepage, you know, try to figure out uh, where those tropics come from, where were they purchased, or even better, uh, which company produced them, um, in what kind of facility, you know, try to do some investigation. Now, I do this quite a lot, and you know, all the the stores that I recommend, all the online vendors, all the Tropic stacks have been, you know, went through my, my check. But if you do this at home, if you want to do it by yourself, that's what you should do. One thing that can help you here is always search for standardized nootropic herbs and also search for branded nootropics such as Cognizine, for example, because they're, they have been tested for so long and they're considered very, very safe. Last but not least, when it comes to nootropic stacks, one more thing you can do is you can check the formulation. Now, not just the ingredients that are in, but you can also check if there's something else in besides all the nootropics. For example, artificial colors, preservatives, soy, gluten, or any kind of other stuff. Now, that's usually one of the reasons why people experience um, like stomach issues and so on, uh, because of, let's say, uh, many nootropic stacks contain soy, for example. And if you're soy intolerant, which is, you know, something that happens quite often nowadays, I guess, um, then you can have issues not because of the nootropics that the particular nootropic stack contains, but because you're so intolerant and you know it contains soy, so that's why this happens. So always check the formulation before, always check what kind of ingredients are in, and you know that's how you can minimize the risks of experiencing any kind of side effects. Now, if you do experience side effects, if you do experience any issues, immediately stop taking nootropics or a nootropic stack try to investigate what caused the issue, check the formulation, check the ingredients, go through all the steps that we mentioned in this video so far. Um, and if this uh, issue persists, you know, if, if you're still taking nootropics or, you know, and you, you, you know, the side effects are still there, you know, do consult your doctor, that's very important. I mean, you shouldn't play with your life here, it's, it's too risky to do that. So if you cannot figure out what's causing the issue and you still have the issue, go to your doctor, talk to him or to her, and you know, you'll know you figure out eventually what's causing the issue. By the way, guys, I've revealed seven secrets about nootropics that no one else will tell you about. To get my free handbook, download it below. So based on my experience, what happened most often was I got a headache, which is you know quite obvious because you know nootropics usually work on neurotransmitters and you know they're in the head, so that's kind of a, uh, related to each other. Then I had a stomach pain. Um, I had issues with brain fog, so I couldn't focus. You know, just recently I was um, experimenting with caffeine and ginseng, and this just didn't go well together. I had such a strong brain fog. I had issues for hours and hours, so I really didn't like it. And you know, that's what you can expect. Also, your your mood can can change quite rapidly if you take the wrong nootropics. So you know, you really have to be careful here. Now, to get the most out of nootropics and to avoid any kind of side effects, I do recommend taking nootropic stacks, especially, you know, the best or the highest quality nootropic stacks you can get on the market. Now, below I provide some links where you can learn all about the best nootropic stacks that I have personally tested, that went through pretty hard uh, test and review, and, you know, they were considered very safe, side effect free, and so on. Now, at the end of the day, you know, it can still happen that you're different than the majority of people, you know, and um, that, you know, a particular ingredient in a stack that causing some issues to you. If this happens, you know, there are always other alternatives available. But again, if you buy a high quality in a tropic stack, that's the way to avoid, you know, most issues that people usually experience. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to follow uh, your inception on Facebook and Instagram. And I hope to see you soon.